Welcome everybody. So it's now my turn for the usual summary of the material that we have produced in this strange year of 2020. I would like to start from some public recognition. So this year we have put together um, a little program to reward, to award uh, the nine users that have been most active in uh, spreading the knowledge about data science and about NIME around the community. So we have, uh, I would like to welcome you to the contributors of the month 2020. So the, the program has started in August and the first contributor of the month that we have uh, awarded this year was uh, Vijay Venkataram. He's an influencer on social media and he has posted on uh, um, in August a mind map uh, displaying all the NIME software features, NIME analytics platform and NIME server. So we thought it was an interesting way of representing the NIME software. Then in September, we awarded Marcus Lauber as the uh, most prolific wizard helper on the NIME forum. And then in uh, October, uh, SJ Porter as the author of two uh, very popular components on the NIME hub. And then again, now in November, Angus White for um, his blogging activities. So his current blog is featuring uh, an application to extract information from Twitter, uh, completely developed with NIME. So I would like to congratulate our contributors of the month for this year. So now I would like to change topic uh, and I would like to talk about publications. So this year in 2020, we haven't traveled. Uh, we have spent a lot of our time, most of us confined at home. So the result of this whole uh, work from home has, be, has been uh, three books. So I'm going to introduce you to the three books that we have produced this year um, in time order. So from the first one that has been published to the most recent one. So are you ready? Book number one. Uh, we have exp extended and updated the Will They Blend book. You remember the Will They Blend book included a bunch of short stories um, about data science, but the main focus of this story was about blending data together from different data sources. So here in this word cloud, you can see uh, the data sources that have been included in the book, and uh, you can see some of the old ones, but you can see also some of the new stories that have been added for this updated release. Um, for example, we have the DynamoDB, we have the Databricks, we have the SharePoint, so a lot of new uh, sources. The book is available on the Nine Press page. Uh, it's free, so just download it and enjoy it. Next book, book number two. The book number two is a textbook. Uh, the title is Guide to Intelligent Data Science. It's published by Springer. And this one is a classic textbook if you want to know what's going on with the math behind your favorite algorithm. Um, so uh, if, if uh, um, you want to teach about the algorithms in machine learning, then that's the book for you. Uh, we have put together a, a website, datascienceguide.org. And uh, in this uh, website, we are going to post all the slide material and the exercises that come from a course that we are teaching at the University of Constance following uh, the outline of this book. Um, at the moment, we have only, the course is still ongoing, so at the moment we have only updated the slides for the theory and we are going to update the slides for the exercises as well in the next few weeks. And then book number three. Book number three is uh, Codeless Deep Learning with Naim. Uh, it's not out yet, so it's really, really fresh off the press. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be launched on December 9. Um, so this book was born from our experience in deep learning. If you have participated in the previous uh, editions of the NIME Summit, you might remember uh, you know, the rap song um, case study using LSTM units, the cancer cell classification using convolutional networks, uh, the, the fraud detector using uh, an autoencoder. So we, have a, uh, we had all this experience. We decided to package it in this book. And then we added a few more new case studies um, e expressly made for this uh, book. We also sprinkled some knowledge of deep learning here and there. It's not a textbook, so it's not the ultimate guide to deep learning, but it's a guide through how to implement an application uh, using the uh, deep learning keras integration with NIME, within NIME. Um, the book is launching, as I said, on December 9th, so it's not available, but you can pre-order it. And if you order it through this uh, link here, uh, you can get 25% off discount. 
Okay, so now that we are talking about deep learning, I would like also to remind you that uh, uh, tomorrow there is going to be a workshop, Codeless Reinforcement, codeless reinforcement Learning. You can attend this workshop if you want to learn more about reinforcement learning or if you want to know more about the tic-tac-toe game. So now let's talk about the courses. We have a few new courses. Um, we have a data analysis, uh, um, a chemi chemical data analysis course uh, to learn how to analyze chemical data. We have a data visualization course now uh, that um, teaches you how to best display the information in your data. And we have two um, new courses describing the NIME software, the NIME analytics platform features, basic and advanced, but targeted to the life scientists. Um, also, I would like to remind you about uh, the new self-paced courses. We used to have a very big, large uh, e-learning course. So now we have split that up in many um, self-paced courses, four self-paced courses. And the interesting part is that the same material that we are using uh, for uh, the online course with teacher is also in the self-paced courses. So if you don't have time or you don't want to attend a course with that teacher, then you can still uh, rely on the self-paced courses and, the, and uh, the material would be the same. Okay, um, so I would like now to conclude with a video premiere. We are going to launch now, um, in this moment, I think it was uploaded like half an hour ago on YouTube, a series of short video. Um, these short videos, they last, but they are very short. They last maximum two minutes, two minutes, and they include answers to common questions in data sciences. For example, what is overfitting? What is regularization? Why do I need it? These kind of questions. Um, so the uh, first video has been uploaded on YouTube, uh, I think now as we speak. Uh, this is the link. You can check it. We are going to upload one video every month. And uh, I would like to leave you now with a short preview of the first two videos uh, that are going to be uh, available for this series. Enjoy. What is regularization? Why is partitioning the data so important? What does it mean when a machine learning model overfits the data? Sometimes when I train a large machine learning model, that is a model with a lot of parameters, it still performs poorly on new data. The error on the training data is very small, which is great, but in comparison, the error on the test data is quite high. The model has probably overfitted the training data. Regularization is a technique to avoid overfitting when training a machine learning model. You can use it, for example, when training a linear regression or a logistic regression, or when training neural networks. 